yes and no. I mean, what is the gay community? You know, uh, there's a lot of different communities within the gay community. There's gay men, lesbian women, there's men of color, uh, there's uh, Asian gay men, there's Latino gay men, um, and there's transgender people, bisexual people, and each one of those sub uh, sections of the gay community has their own identity, their own ways of thinking and communicating. A lot of times they like to just hang out with similar members of their own communities. You know what, I'm all about keeping it real. I don't really give a fuck about the LGBT media. <laughs> I don't really care about them that much anymore uh, because um, the LGBT media is very, not all of them. Well, I do, I mean, what's interesting is over the course of time, the LGBT media's perception of me has shifted. Uh, at, at first they hated me and they still are kind of not very embracing of me, but um, I find it that I w it's always tricky to generalize, but if you look at a magazine like The Advocate or Out, the majority of people working there are gay men and white gay men. So whether they try to be objective or not, and whether they try to be inclusive or not, inherently, it's not gonna really be all of those things just by nature of its composition. Obviously, I come from a slanted perspective. I used to work at GLAD, and I think GLAD is a useless organization. I want to start my own gay nonprofit called Happy Homosexuals and Perverts Protecting You. I think perverts are far underlooked. We need more pervert action in America. I mean, also, and this is, I don't, I don't really mean perverts, but uh, one thing, GLAD is way too politically correct. They are afraid of sex and trying to keep that aspect of uh, gay life in the closet uh, when it's not the most important, but it is an important part of gay life and we should embrace it all. Uh, you know, we should be more sex positive and I don't see GLAD doing work in the field. Uh, I think that Lambda Legal, they're in the trenches, man. They're making stuff happen. Um, the the um, the 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 grassroots work that people like Dan Choi are doing, that people um, on the internet are doing themselves with their friends, that is what is really bringing about change and getting people activated and excited. I mean, I remember being in California uh, around that whole Prop 8 time and when it was overturned and then all the developments and the marches and the rallies and was GLAD doing anything? No. Most of the things that happened then were because of people on the internet that were citizen activists. And that's really exciting. I love the internet and I love that social media has really helped make your average gay person um, involved in the community and involved in being um, a, a conduit for change.